Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Look at that freaking spot. All right, guys, quick video. And if you guys have been following the channel, I did a video on um, how to test your soil not too long ago. And my results finally came back. And that's what the video today is about. So what I wanted to show you is... Um, a problem that I have in my very own lawn, okay? And this is why it's so important to get a soil test conducted, okay? And I've known about this problem and there's things that I do every year uh, to solve the issue, but I wanted to go ahead and make another video about this, of the importance of soil testing, okay? So I submitted the test to the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, okay? And what we are looking at essentially are my results for my my backyard, okay, the lawn area. I've got a thousand square feet. Uh, I took some samples throughout the whole yard and had that submitted. And this is um, the results we got back. So what I wanna point out is this very first one here, my pH, okay? And this is gonna, you know, it's gonna vary depending on the uh, type of grass and the soil that you're working with. But here in the South with Bermuda, you want to try to get to that six to seven, in between six and seven. Six and a half is ideal for right growing conditions as far as your soil goes with Bermuda grass. So results, 7.6. <laughs> so obviously I'm a, I'm a point a point above, I'm alkaline, okay, on my soil type. And over the years, I've been bringing this down, okay. And I'm going to talk more about this pH because that pH, I want to get down to six and a half, okay? Um, and then all my other macronutrients and a, a couple of the micros here are right online with perfect conditions, okay? As far as my uh, nitrogen, the phosphorus has always been kind of high ever since I started putting malorganite back in 2017-ish time period, Okay. Uh, phosphorus is good, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, sodium's a little low, but that's no, that's no problem. I don't have an issue with that, but everything's right in there on the, um, critical line area. It's actually a little bit above, but moderate output on all my macros. So getting back to this pH. Okay. So we've got an issue. We want to solve it. And the way you do that again point of the video the way that you solve your ph issues if you're alkaline like my lawn where you need to adjust it and start bringing it down is you start applying sulfur okay and this is what you're going to get some organic soil acidifier for organic gardening lowers your ph okay <clears throat> safer than aluminum sulfate and don't get this confused okay this is a, uh, a sulfur product right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that sulfur. It's got the free sulfur, 18% combined sulfur, a total of 30%. This is a six pound bag, okay? Don't get the aluminum sulfate or the ammonium sulfate confused with sulfur, okay? Ammonium sulfate, you're gonna find a lot in your fertilizers, okay? And this is pure sulfur. <clears throat> you have to use this kind to lower your pH levels. Uh, now, if you're on the acidic side of things, you've got to use a lime, right? Now, a lot of your clay soils, when you're in that transition zone or you're up north, you've got to use a lime. Excuse me, hold on, hold on. Got to use a lime product. And this is the kind of lime you want to get. Pelletized lawn lime, okay? Key words is the dolomitic, the pelletized dolomitic limestone. Uh, again, that's if you're acidic, meaning your pH is too low and you're trying to ride or raise your pH levels. Today though, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be lowering our pH levels. Here's the catch though. <coughs> this takes time. You cannot apply 100 pounds of sulfur to a lawn, especially a growing lawn for that matter, if you need to bring it down. And, uh, you know, the recommended rate varies, 
But what I can tell you is that if you're trying to lower your pH levels, be patient with it. Apply some early spring or late fall and you cannot do more than the recommended rate, which is five pounds per thousand. Now there are some university studies saying that you can apply up to 10 pounds per thousand square feet. I think the uh, University of Michigan mentioned that. Don't quote me on that one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was University of Michigan. You can do up to 10 pounds, but if you do too much, you can risk burning the lawn, okay? So we're just gonna be putting down six pounds and uh, in the spring, and I'm gonna do another application in the fall, and then we retest next season and see where that pH level is, okay? But um, essentially, you, the importance of doing this is to find out where your pH level is because if your pH is too acidic, or it's too alkaline, you have to understand that all the fertilizer applications you've been doing to your lawn, if it's too acidic or too alkaline, can lock up the nutrients in the fertilizer, thus not allowing your lawn to be the greenest lawn on the block, okay? Um, it, it's basically, if, if you can't utilize the fertilizer you're putting down because it's locked up because your pH is off, then there's your number one issue. You can be putting down fertilizer, 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 five weeks, four weeks, six weeks, and you're not getting the response you want. Well, the immediate problem is probably because your pH is off. So again, the importance of getting a soil test conducted, gotta check that pH level, guys. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe.